Greetings, I am AJ, the managing partner for WP Faster and your instructor for this, the official WP Faster WordPress speed optimization course. So let's get right into it. Is your WordPress website fast enough? Hold on to that thought as I will be returning to it. Most people with a website do have a basic awareness that their website ought not be slow. A smaller percentage understand that their website should be fast, and a smaller number still know that the fastest possible version of their website is highly advantageous. But even amongst this latter group, an in-depth understanding of the critical nature of website speed is actually pretty rare. So just how important is the speed of your website? Well, the facts here speak louder than any analogy, metaphor, or simile that I might conjure up for you. So let's just review a small sampling of those. Google is obsessed with speed. It might seem as if I'm being hyperbolic using the word obsessed, but no, this is the actual verbiage Google uses to describe their preoccupation with the speed of the internet in general and the speed of your website in particular. Google is so obsessed, in fact, that not only do they rank faster websites better in their search results, but Google itself offers a suite of optimization tools which can be installed on your server. The, po the point to all of this, of course, being that Google is so committed to the fastest internet, the fastest websites, and the best possible user experience that they literally give such things away. And they really could be charging for these things and making even more obscenely <laughs> gargantuan profits than they already do. You've prob probably also noticed things like Google's predictive search when you use their search engine. Whereas you type, Google is predicting what you are looking for and providing you with likely options in that drop-down box from the Google search or Chrome browser search bar. What you may not be aware of is that Google is actually preloading those options in the background so that when you click on one of them, the navigation to the search result is lightning fast. But why? What is all this fuss about? What evidence is there really that speed matters this much? Well, there's gobs of it. Google found that a 500 millisecond slowdown equaled 20% decrease in their ad revenue. That's massive when you uh, calculate all, out all those numbers. Millions and millions and millions of dollars in lost profit. Bing found that a two-second slowdown meant a 2.5% decrease in queries and overall clicks. Again, huge. Amazon found that a 100 millisecond slowdown, that's one-tenth of one second, can mean a 1% decrease in uh, their revenue. Yahoo! found that a 400 millisecond improvement in load time translated to a 9% increase in traffic. Again, that is massive. Mozilla mapped a 2.2 second improvement to 60 million additional Firefox downloads. A study released by Akamai in September of 2009 came to similar conclusions. 47% of internet users expect a web page to load in two seconds or less. 40% will abandon a web page if it takes more than three seconds to load. 52% of online shoppers claim that quick page loads are important for their loyalty to the site. So if you want them coming, if you want them truly being your shopper, your customer, and yours exclusively, you have to provide them with a fast user experience. 14% will start shopping at a different site if page loads are slow, and 23% will stop shopping or even walk away from their computer, and that is devastating information because these people have cash in hand, they're ready to give it to you for your product or service, and if you have a slow website, they, walk, they literally walk away from their computer. 64 you don't want to disengage people with cash in hand ready to hand it to you for no other reason than your website is slow. 64% of shoppers who are dissatisfied with their uh, visit to your website will go somewhere else to shop next time. So even if you sell them on the first go-round, you might not get them on, on a second try. The Gomez Peak Time Internet Usage Study conducted by Equation Research on 1,500 consumers in February, February of 2010 also confirms the negative impact of poor performance. At peak traffic times, more than 75% of online consumers left for a competitor's site rather than wait on the slow one. 88% of online consumers are less likely to return to a site after a single slow experience. One time, one chance to make a first impression. Almost half expressed a less positive perception of the entire company after a single slow experience. 
So this lends itself to the fact that speed uh, it displays credibility and believability in the website. More than a third of people will tell other people about a disappointing experience on a website. A slow website will be uh, identified as such and talked about as such. And this is an irony that anyone who's <clears throat> worked on the internet for any length of time is all too familiar with. And that is specifically that trying to get positive reviews, deserved as they may be, are, are very, very difficult. Whereas if someone has something to complain about, well, they're going to complain. And it's just the nature of the beast. There's nothing that can be done about it. There's not a workaround other than amping up the user experience, making that as good as it can possibly be, making the website, your website, as performant and as fast as it can possibly be. And I wanted you to note the age of this research. It's old. In internet years, it's ancient, in fact. People's expectations of and appetite for snappy user experiences have only increased in the interim. Indeed, research of this sort isn't really conducted anymore, not at any real depth. And the reason is a simple one, until and unless websites load instantly and are instantaneously interactive, they can and should be faster. So let's get back to the first thing I asked you in the beginning of the lecture. Is your WordPress website fast enough? Well, the answer is, as, I'm, as I hope you've now deduced, an unequivocal no. In fact, this phrase, fast enough, quote unquote, needs to be stricken from your understanding of website performance. It simply does not exist relative to the facts. There is no such thing. Nor does, does it exist relative to the reality that optimization is a process, not an event. It's, something, it's not something, rather, that you do and is done. It is an ongoing and evolving thing, both with technology and user expectations. We're clearly not there yet, but if the trajectory of things continues as it has been, it will not be uncommon to hear said within the context of some future conversation about some future internet that some or another website failed to know what the user wanted prior to the user being aware of knowing it. And I'm not joking, not even a little. That's where things are going. So line up to get your chip, right? So how important is website speed? If benefits such as user, greater user engagement, longer on-site times, superior search engine positioning, and more money matter to you, and I'm sure they do or you wouldn't be interested in this course, then the answer to that question should now be self-evident. Speed is critical to the ultimate success or failure of your WordPress website.